Gotta do some calisthenics. I gotta get like my spirituals. Hi friends! Hi. Welcome to the Erin and Krista show. I'm Erin. And I'm Krista. Today, <laughs> we're gonna do some favorites for me. Hey! <laughs> God. I'm a great singer. Who wants no you're not? Who I, wants to go first? Um, I'm gonna talk about a bronzer. Since we're coming into summer, I think that's pretty appropriate. Plus, I was in Mexico for a week and this is me tan. I've been kind of faking my tan, trying to hang on to any bit of sun that touched my body in the last two weeks, which is not much. SPF kids. This is the hourglass bronzer. It's the luminous bronze light. Our right. glasses are really pretty. Stuff. Yeah, they do. It's like a swirly, like highlighty, shimmery color swirled in with a nice, pretty bronze. So I've been using this basically all around the perimeters of my face and kind of down my neck and on my decollete. Decollete. My my, my decollete. This is the lightest shade, luminous. Hey, who's about what do you got over there? All right. So the first thing I'm gonna talk about here. I have procured the Sigma Spa Brush Cleaning Matte. How it works is it sits on the bottom of your sink. Oh, it looks like you have a, a butt or a heart for a face. Yeah. Or a... Or a thyroid blocking x-ray thing. So the bottom of it has suction cup deals. Oh. So this part sits right below the drain. And how it works is it comes with this little step-by-step -step instruction. So you... Place this at the bottom of your sink and then you put your water on like a trickle and then you use whatever your cleanser that you like. Um, so you put the, you get the brush wet and then you put um, the cleaning solution right onto the mat. I prefer to use for my cleaning solution for my brushes is Johnson Johnson baby shampoo. You can go and spend a lot of money on brush cleaner sure. or you can just use baby shampoo. Yeah. And it works great. So I just kind of put it all over and then you just... This is the part to clean, and so there's one part for face brushes, which is a little bit um, bigger, and then more small for the eye brushes, and then a place to rinse them. Oh, and my okay. brushes came so clean so fast, and even the ones like the um, the brushes that are like the blurring brushes the that grab ones. on all of that makeup, and you're like rinsing out foundation for nine years, so fast. I cleaned all of my brushes in that kit that, that I wear in my belt, yeah. Um, which is, I would say, about at least 40. And I clean that in, what, an hour maybe? These do go out of stock quite a bit, I've noticed, on, on the Sigma website. website yeah. But you can sign up for them to email you when it comes back. And they also have a mitt that is like the same kind of material. It's like a silicone. But I prefer this because it's just much easier because I have so many. Well, as a makeup artist, you probably have more brushes than a normal human. Yes. So the mitt might be a good option for somebody who's got like 10 brushes. We went to Sephora like a week before my wedding and yeah, a week before I was still looking for a foundation that I loved. Um, I got this one and I didn't end up using it. Oh, I'm just telling you. <laughs> I didn't end up using this one actually on my wedding day, but now I kind of feel like I wish I would have. I just didn't have enough time to like get to know it. Yeah, you know, to interview it. On my wedding day, I actually used a drugstore foundation. Well, we also put the Cover FX drops. With the in. Cover FX custom cover drops. Mm -hmm. I used the L'Oreal True Match Lumi. But anyways, now that I've been playing with this one, I really, really, really like it. And I hope I like it all year, not just in the summer, because my skin changes so much. Uh -huh. But it's the Givenchy. Photo perfection. Center. I like the top of it. The design. That's a Givenchy symbol. I like it. Um, and then this one, I didn't think I'm gonna put it on my hand because I didn't think that it was the right color. I kind of thought the lady at Sephora was drunk because it's very pink, and I guess something's wrong with me that I don't think I'm pink. So this is I'm in number two, perfect petal. Um, and it just really blends in beautifully with my skin. Like, no, it looks really good. I love it. So the Givenchy Photo Perfection. Yeah. How's the texture? Love it. it. Great. Creamy, smooth, doesn't. It's finish. It's not, it's kind of a natural finish. Okay. It's not dewy and it's certainly not matte. Well, that's good. Um, yeah, I love it. So hopefully I'll continue to love this. I'll let you know next month. <laughs> <laughs> she changes her mind. I know. Um, I'm gonna stay on the train of cleaning. I'm going to talk about a brand that um, I'm kind of new to understanding and knowing and that's the Rodan and Fields, the brand that you see a lot. Um, it's like an at-home seller. I think it's 
from the doctors for the proactive. Um, actually, um, my sister is. Yeah, her sister home. sells it, and so she had a little like party deal, and she was selling some stuff, and so I came to support her sister and her family because they're my favorites. And um, I bought this stuff because I was kind of like I have so much skincare products right. that I didn't want to buy a cleanser, but I have a really kind of OCD issue about my skin feeling texture or dry, my yeah. skin on my body and my face too, but my body. And so they have this thing, it's called the Body Microdermabrasion. And what it is, is it is, it looks like a little deodorant stick. Same here, like a little deodorant stick. And it has um, like pretty rough yeah. beads inside of it. And um, it resurfaces, cleanses, and conditions the skin. So I'm not quite sure everything that's in it. In the, shower, in, the no, shower. in the shower. In the shower, yeah. Okay. So I'll use it in the shower um, a couple times a week and it's really easy because I don't have to like get the you know the pot scrub, of the yeah. scrub and then either rub it in or grab a, oh, that's a good mitt idea. or grab something else. Um because I do have like a pretty heavy bristle brush. So that you I just kind of so you just kind of take it and rub it all along your arms or wherever. Your butt. Uh-huh. And the other thing that's really cool to do is that you can use it on your legs and your bikini area and your armpit area before you shave. And that really helps because it helps get bring the hairs up. Yes, yeah, so you get a closer shave, which is good especially in the summertime. Um, but the Rodanian Fields I really like because I'm a science-y kind of a human and I will always look things up. Because even yeah. when we had that party, right, I was answering all the up. questions. I'm like, I need to know what this is. Right. And But this stuff, I really like it. It just lives in my shower, so it's super easy. But it really has helped. The one place I'll tell you that I really like it is in the underarm area. With this under the arms, it's really nice because you know how sometimes you get like those little bumps or you get like that weird coloration. Mm -hmm. um, but this has really helped with all of that um, before shaving, so I don't get like ingrown hairs or anything underneath there. So it's good stuff. Check it out. Rodan Fields microdermabrasion body thing. Body. Body exfoliator. There you go. I know a lot of people like the Milani baked blushes. Um, first of all, their packaging is very pretty. It's gold. I like mm -hmm. it. This is in the shade Rose Oro, so it's a, a rose gold, which at first I wasn't totally like sure this was a great color for me, but it's pretty warm. But I really like the pinky gold, like it has like a gold reflect to it. Let's see if you can see this little hmm. swatch. I have it on right now. Can you see? Um, and they have a couple of shades, like maybe oh, four or five really shades. Pigmented. Yeah, no, they're great. I have a Luminoso too, which is like, a cult favorite. It's like Luminoso is more of like a pinky peach. This is definitely like a like a golden. Nice. Like a pinky gold, which I like a lot. So I have that on my cheekers right now. So I've been actually really loving this. And it's drugstore, so it's right, the five dollars. Price, price is right. Yeah, five dollars maybe. And for blush, I mean, as long as you like how it looks, I don't really think that you need to spend a million dollars on blush. No, it's not like it does anything to make this skin Yeah, and better. so these are really great. And like I said, there's a few different shade selections. So Milani Baked Blush. Speaking of drugstore, mm -hmm. I'm going to talk about the lipstick that I have on. Which is a, um, it's called Sugar Plum Fairy. So it's a whiny, plummy tone and it's more of a matte. I've had this on for a few hours now. And it hasn't really been. And you've been drinking wine. And I've been drinking wine. As you see, it's on my wine glass. All about the wine glass. But it's not all over my face, and it's not bleeding, and I didn't line my lips. My lips are on drugstore lips. Yeah. Too, too. And you know what it's, this is? This is <laughs> flipping wet and wild. So I went on this tangent. I was doing a photo shoot, and I needed more lipsticks. I had got myself in one of those situations where you think you have a lot of something, and then you pack a kit and you forget something. And then I was on my way, and I was like, oh my god, I don't have any lipstick. Mm -hmm. So I ran into CVS, <laughs> as one does at 7 o'clock in the morning, mm -hmm. and I bought every Wet n Wild lipstick that they had there. Because I was like, you know, something's better than nothing, I don't know. And we didn't really have a direction of what we wanted to do for the lips. Right. So, um, and it was for a magazine layout, so I had to be prepared. You can't look at these people and be like, I don't know, I don't have that. I don't have red. That's not acceptable. <laughs> so, um... Once the shoot was over, we ended up using a nude, but once the shoot was over, I had all these wet wilds and you know, I was like, and I had already unpackaged them because for the sake of time during a photo shoot, I needed to have everything open right. and ready. Um, so I was like, you know, I'll just use them. And so I started using this. This is their, I feel like this is just like their matte. I think I have that color. Stay I bought a few of those. Lip. They also have them in really pretty like nudes and peaches as well as their their, uh, what are they, their stains that look like they're like big crayons. Like a chubby pencil Those thing. are awesome too. Their lip products, 
I'm telling you what, $2.99. $2.99. Even if you use it five times, it's worth it. $2.99. Most like lipstick, the medium brand for drugs or for department store lipstick, is $26. That is the middle point of what you'll spend if you go to Nordstrom or Macy's or Dillard's or something like that. Even Ulta in the higher end is $26. Yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. That's the Buy $2.99. It's $40. L'Oreal lipstick or CoverGirl is still going to be $8.99 or $10. $2.99. I, you can't even get a gallon of gas for that much money. Nope. And so if you're a, um, a beauty lady on a budget and you want some fun <laughs> lipsticks. Beauty, B L O B, a beauty lady on a budget. B L O B, a blob. Let's make it happen. If, uh, <laughs> if you're a fucking blob, if you're a fucking blob, a beauty lady on a budget, then <laughs> hashtag blob, hashtag blob, wet and wild, um, <laughs> wet and wild blob. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think they like that. Um, but, it really, it's awesome because a lot of times with lip colors, I found. Why do you, I smell weed. <laughs> She's making food. Chicken sausage. Chicken, Chicken sausage, sausage in like my nose smells like weed. This idiot doesn't even, I don't. She nothing. doesn't even know. My next product is not a face product, surprisingly, for today. I know, right? It's an eyeshadow. It's by ColourPop, which they just had their first birthday. Did you see that Instagram? Oh yeah, happy they birthday! They had like a little birthday garden party. It's super cute. Um, I love everything that they have. Oh yeah, me too. I'm obsessed. So I've been into like really like pinky red colors lately, which might make me look like I have some sort of a demon virus, but I kind of no, look at it. So this is actually on my the eyeballs right now. Let's take a peek. You miss? Um, it looks good because if you have like blue or green eyes, that yeah, color makes your eyes it look icy. Some. So this color is Drift, and it's like a. And if you've never used any of their products they are they look like they're a cream but they're not a cream they're a mystery texture but I like to put it on with a synthetic brush or just my finger so here's the swatch on my hand and look at that mm -hmm. it's amazing and there's another brand that's super reasonable five priced. bucks for this and that's a lot of shadow it's a lot of product like how do you go through this I've used this a million times and it barely looks like anything's mm -hmm. happened so it's a nice like Sort of like strawberry. I like it for the summer. It's like a rusty, rummy color. Yeah, yeah, it's weird. I actually pressed a little bit of the blush that I just talked about on top of it too. Oh. On me balls. Okay, so so ColourPop, Drift, five bucks. Their lipsticks are five bucks. Their eyeshadows are five bucks. They're a great brand. They just came out with highlighters and bronzers, so maybe Ooh. I'll get some of those and yeah, we those. can talk about them. The thing about them too is that they, when you order something America, from them, LA. they send you like the cutest little handwritten yeah, right. notes That's and stuff. Freaking adorable. They're super cute. It's they're very company. smart women. I think they're all women. I think so too, yeah. If we had done a swatch video on Medusa's makeup lipsticks, and so I bought some of their eye dust and their shadow primer. So they also make really like a ton of these, like every color that you could imagine. Plus they make a lot of loose glitter. So they have two different kinds of primer, one for the loose glitter and one for the dusts. And this is called Stick It. And this is also made in the USA. Um, this is made of all natural waxes, oils, and mica. And mica is, if you don't know, it's a mineral that makes mineral makeup. Mineral makeup. It's a slate rock they grind up. So it's actually, it looks like it has color to it, but it's actually clear. See? Have you tried using that with other things? Yes. And it is like glue. Okay. It won't crease. So you just take it and you pat it on, you know. And again, there's no color to it. It looks like it would be, but it's not. And it, you can feel that if you want to. And then these are their oh, eye like dust. A balm. Yeah. This is their eye dust. This one's called Helter Skelter. Love it. And it's a really dark, it's a black color. So you can see this is a Helter Skelter and it has like an iridescence to it. Um, if you look on our Instagram, there's a photo of me with like a big, like a smoky eye. Um, oh yeah. And I'm using, I know you're talking about. and that's, it's actually my Facebook profile picture. Okay, cool. Um, and that's that. And then the other color that I bought from them, because I also like, um, I'm getting this all over though. That's so, okay. That's one problem with eye dusts. But that's why when you wear eye dusts, do your eyes first and right. your face makeup last. Fall out. Because you don't want to put scotch tape on your face full of everything holy. This one's called Volcano. And this is like that same um, kind of color that Aaron was talking about, the color pop. I think it's a little lighter though. So that's the. Ooh, they have like a pearlescent sort of a thing. Yeah. A little bit. So that's their colors. So that's the Medusa's What's makeup. What's the price point on those? Uh, not bad. I want to say like maybe $9. Because 
And nine dollars is great because anything like a pigment, a Mac pigment, who's ever run out of a Mac pigment? No, and you spend so, like twenty four on them. Right, and so like nine dollars, fantastic. And again, they're made in the USA. They're out of Chicago. Now, this is not a makeup product, but oh Jesus! But it is wedding season, and I just got married, so I mm -hmm. thought I would talk about. It this. was beautiful too. Thanks, friend. You helped lots. I did. This is the hair accessory that I wore in my hair. So it's this little chain and two little combs. They're very beautiful, little decorative hair thing. I wore it kind of like this, and it's really beautiful. It has like a little bit of like a leaf detail, and it's got like little, what are these, rhinestones? Mm -hmm. On the little combs, and it's so pretty. Um, so I got it on Etsy, and the name of the Etsy shop is Gilded Shadows. Anyways, here's the picture of the model when she was wearing it or her. This is called the Crystal Chain Headpiece, Bridal Headpiece. Um, she has a ton of beautiful um, handmade pieces for your hair. I'm gonna look at it. It's thing. gorgeous. Yeah, I mean, Etsy is a great resource for anything for your wedding, mm -hmm. you know, and it's usually handmade and it's a good price. This was a little bit pricey, it was $148, but I loved it, so I didn't care and I just wanted it. I mean, she makes, and she was great communication, huh? I just wanted it. I just wanted it. Great communication with her. Like, I told her, I know this is kind of like, I only gave her like a month in advance, like, warning. Mm -hmm. And I think it said it usually took longer, but we, like, worked it out, and she was great. And so I'll link all her info below. She had a, a ton of beautiful pieces for the hair. Okay, so my last product to talk about is what's on my eyebrows right now. I have always been using, that's not true, I, in the recent years, have been using the Tarte that is like <laughs> um, waterproof brow mousse, which I do love. There's nothing wrong with that product. So I like to have a backup with my eyebrow products because I can never not have to put my eyebrows on. It's just the way that it is. And so I need to have more than one product that I can go to in case something is horrific occurs. Well, in the case they stop making something. No, right. That's my biggest That's fear. Is I'm gonna go to get my Tarte waterproof brow mousse and I'm like, just continue. <laughs> Every time. I the Anastasia Dip Brow doesn't work for me because I do what's considered a brow replacement because I'm not just filling my eyebrows in. You're drawing them on. <laughs> so this is the It Cosmetics Build a Brow. I bought this and talked about it on the Alt Hall. You are terrifying right now. I know. Why are you screaming at me? Because you are burping in my face and you're a wild banshee <laughs> and I'm hungry <laughs> and I've had a lot of wine. You're like, Somehow you need to look in a mirror. <laughs> Your lipstick has done something I've never seen it done. Do not do before. <laughs> Don't smile like that, but relax. <laughs> I can't. You're shaking. It's, it's, it's on your nose. Like, your lipstick has I look like the Joker. The bridge of your nose. Right here like a vampire. Oh, uh, your look, cup. Look, I look like I look like Heath Ledger <laughs> it's, Joker. It's like on here, it's on your tooth, it's on the bridge of your nose, oh, it's from your cup. My That's our <laughs> figure out what's going on. Our viewers don't want to see this kind of shit on our channel. We're supposed to have it together. <clears throat> so the last product I'm gonna talk about is the It Cosmetics Build a Brow. It is my backup to my Tarte Waterproof Brow Mousse in case they ever discontinue that and I have to start a riot. Yeah. I've tried a lot of the different, like the creamy pomade. Like the Anastasia. Anastasia Dip Brow. Those types of products work best on me except for that one. That one dries too quick and it gets stripey. That's a problem with the Dip Brow. So this is a five <clears throat> waterproof five-in-one microfiber cream. Creme. Creme gel stain. And this stuff stays on. This is it right here. Um, this is the dark. I don't want to spray you with a hose and see if that's true. It will. Where's, <laughs> your, where's your water bottle? Oh, no, we're not doing that. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> so it's the dark brown right here. Now, on the Ulta haul, I talked about this because I bought it when I was doing that. When thing. you were Ulta hauling? Yeah. Uh -huh. And I bought this and then I bought the brush that went with it. And the brush was called a picket brush where it was, it looked like a picket fence. It had like notches taken out. Like teeth? That is not something that you want to use if you're doing what's what I do, which is considered a brow replacement because I had stripey weird <laughs> eyebrows. I looked like um, Amanda Palmer. Google, if you don't know. No, I don't like Batteries her. about today. 
and um, it just wasn't good for me. So this, but the product itself is fine if I use my normal brow brush. So thank you for watching our May favorites. These are the products we've been loving all May. Bye, friends. Bye, friends. Comment below. Comment, comment, comment. We love Please, it. Please, we love to talk to you. We are the Aaron and Krista Show on Facebook and on Twitter. No, on Twitter we are at Aaron and Krista. Twitter. On Twitter we are at Aaron and Krista. On Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube we are the Aaron and Krista Show. We will always answer anything you say to us. Yep. Um, let us know if you want. To we hear have anything a whole else. list of things that people are asking us for. We do write it down, and we have a list. Yes. So. And our PO box is also listed in our information. Send us prizes. Yeah. Draw, yeah. draw a self portrait. I'd love to see we'll, that. Anything. We'll take anything. Just not box. No. Oh, no. Or poop. Or poop box. Even mm -hmm. though I request them. Don't no, actually no, send them. Don't send them. Okay. Bye. Bye, friends. <laughs> no. No, Chris. No. Bad Chris. Ah. Ah.